Really? Of course! We've traveled all over the place! We've got so many stories, we could probably talk your ears off for three days straight! You know, I used to dream of being a bard. Playing the lute while singing into the winds of freedom. <laughs> Even if there was no one there to listen, I would have continued to sing no matter what. Ah, that's where Mora comes from. I never knew that before. If I had some Mora, I would buy three new dresses. One for me, one for Perry, and one for Mother. It's just too bad Perry doesn't like wearing dresses. And Mother? Well, she probably wouldn't accept something like that either. Hey, <laughs> I guess I'd just have to keep them all for me then. I could wear a different one every day. Those yokai you mentioned, what do they look like? I once saw a drawing of this one guy with horns on his head and a super scary face. Are there any yokai like that? Oh, sounds like you're talking about an oni. Yep, we've met one, and let Paimon tell you, they're not nearly as scary as they look. I was always too afraid to skip Mother's fighting lessons. But at the academia, I bet you could do all sorts of secret things in class. Things that have nothing to do with studying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Being able to study whatever you want without having to fear for your life actually sounds pretty great. The situation was super dangerous. Lenny and Lynette were accused of committing a crime and they were going to have to stand trial at the Opera Epiclès. Oh no, that must have been hard for all of you. What happened next? Don't worry, we were able to turn the situation around super quickly, all thanks to Detective Paimon, of course. <laughs> How'd you do that? Come on, tell me. <clears throat> okay, so it was like this. After the failed magic show, we rushed to the scene and... Shadows don't have the capacity to learn or grow. Any new information they encounter is quickly forgotten over time. 